Uh, okay, this message is for all the seven Adventists around the world, and uh, this is serious stuff we have to talk about. Okay, this is better. Okay, this is serious stuff we're gonna talk about. You are a seven Adventist. You belong to the only true organization from God on this earth since 1844. All the nominal churches, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, Catholic, they fell because in 1844 they did not receive the message of William Miller, which told them that uh, Jesus would be coming and in fact it was in fact Jesus passing from the holy place to the most holy place in the sanctuary in heaven. And uh, and so every other organization in the world is Babylon, except the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Nevertheless, now in 2014, the church has fallen. It's not Babylon. The Seventh-day Adventist will never be Babylon church. It will always be God's organization. Nevertheless, the church has uh, uh, lost the first love he had. If Ellen G. White, James White, William Miller, I mean, uh, Joseph Bates, uh, Lockborough, A.T. Jones, Wagner, will come back today and go into the Adventist church and listen to most of the sermons preached today in the Adventist church, they will be totally baffled by the lack of spirituality. In fact, if you go to a Seventh Adventist church today, most of the time you cannot even feel see the difference between a Sunday church. You could be a Seventh Adventist church, and the Baptist could come in, and he would never know it would be a Seventh Adventist church. Most of the sermon preach are about the gospels, things we have heard over and over and over and over again. It seems like the preachers want to repeat the same thing. We heard the woman at the well, we heard the prodigal son, we heard, we heard, we heard, we heard, and there's many truths we need to know. How many Adventists know about the sinning of God's people? How many Adventists know about the loud cry, about the latter rain, about the mark of the beast and all details? Most Adventists don't know these things. Lenny White said there's many precious truths in the Bible. But what the people of God need now is the present truth. Lenny White says that there's not one in 20 Seventh Adventists ready to close his earth history. It means if someone is not ready to close this earth history, they cannot go to heaven. And if someone cannot go to heaven, will they go to limbo, purgatory? No, they will end up in hell. Yes, many Sanadantists will end up in hell. Many Sanadantists will not make it to heaven. Do you know that? We will not receive the seal of God. Elon G. Weiss says, there's a quote, that the seal of God will never be placed on an impure person. Someone was deceitful, liar, the seal of God, if you say that is, you think that because you keep the Sabbath, you're going to go to heaven? No. No, if you're impure, not impure sacrally, because, I mean, sacrally, yes, if, uh, if the woman is taken, yes, it's impure. Impure thought is uh, impurity aid for others and everything. But the thing is here is that, uh, that uh, a liar you never go to heaven, a worldly loving person, a proud person, you know that in the Seventh Day Church now, most people are proud. Most people are full of the gangsterism, of the gangster rap uh, uh, behavior, which is totally devilish. To be full of attitude and hate and pride and and I don't love other people, which in fact is totally opposite from God, Jesus, which is lying. So if you are a Seventh Day and you have this worldly attitude of I don't care about others, like I'm better, you're never going to heaven. <laughs> There's no way you're going to heaven. 
And the third point to show you that Mars Adventists do not go to heaven. The angel came to Ellen White and told her, can these with Bibles under the arms, meaning Southern Adventists, can these with Bibles under the arms of an Adventist, and do not tell others about the message, go to heaven. The angel repeated three times, never, never, never. Those who know the truth and don't give it to others will never enter the kingdom of God. If you are a Southern Baptist and you are worldly, you are impure, you don't give the message to others, you will never make it to heaven. 